The Two Princesses The king of an ancient kingdom was a good man, but his ignorance to the plight of his daughters, Stella and Ellen, allowed their stepmother's cruel actions to go unchecked. Hands off, you little brat! These shoes belong to me! But father gave them to us! Why are you doing this? Don't you dare talk back to me, you insolent child! Remember, I am the queen now, and I decide who gets what in this palace. Please, stepmother, can't we just... Silence! You two stay in this room, and don't you dare leave. I don't want to see your faces. This is so unfair. We have to tell father when he returns. But he never listens to us. He always takes our stepmother's side. Then what are we still doing here? Nobody cares about us in this palace. You're right, Stella. It's time we leave this place and make a life of our own. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. We don't need the stepmother's jewels or her approval. We have each other, and that's all that matters. Thanks, Ellen. You're right. Let's go out there and make our own destiny. So, the two princesses set out. They entered a wood, and deep within it, they reached a strange palace. Such huge doors! Surely this palace belongs to an ogre. The same ogre who has been tormenting our people, you think? The princesses went into the palace. There was no one around. This palace definitely belongs to that ogre and his wife. This is our chance to rid our people of them. Don't be silly, Stella. How are we going to fight two ogres? By using their own strength against them, trust me. Did you notice they don't have a single fireplace in the palace? Um, yes. And did you notice the trees around here? Yes, they have, oh, smoking pine cones. So they don't like fire and we're going to give them lots of smoke. We are not princesses for nothing. Come on. Some time later, the ogre and his wife returned. The princesses were waiting. <coughs> what is this that I smell? Fire? Ah, my foot is tied! Ah. There you are, captured. Our army is on its way here. Once we take you to the palace, you shall be given a punishment so severe, so horrible that... Let us go! <coughs> Let us go! We, we can't bear the smoke. We shall return to our land below the river. We promise never to return to your kingdom. How can we trust you? How do we know that if we let you go, you won't attack us? We cannot attack you as long as you have fire in your hands. You see that mirror over there? This is our way to our land. Once we enter it, destroy the mirror and our way back will be destroyed forever. The princesses wondered if they could trust the ogre but then they had no choice. They had no army, and the fire would not last long. So they brought the mirror, and the ogre and his wife started to enter it. But before they went in, 
for driving us out of our palace. I curse you, princesses. That soon you will lose each other. One of you will forget the other. How dare you? Take back your curse, else we will destroy the mirror with you half in and half out. <coughs> ah! Don't! Don't! Fine! The one who forgets will remember only when she is embraced by the other. Wait! Wait! The princesses began living in the forest in the ogre's palace. Several months passed by, and they soon forgot about the ogress's curse. But one day... See you in the evening. Here's your lunch. Take care. The queen of a neighboring country passed by. A palace? In the middle of a forest? Stop! Your Highness, I beg you your pardon, but it is unwise to stop here. We don't know to whom the palace belongs. See how well kept and inviting it is? The trees, the birds look healthy and happy. It doesn't seem dangerous at all. Let's go. Yes? We are thirsty. Can we get some water, please? Certainly. Do come in. Who are you? And what are you doing here in this forest all alone? The moment the queen asked Princess Stella this question, the ogress's curse came to pass, and the princess lost all memory of who she was, how she came to stay in this palace, and of her sister. I... I... don't know! What? Are you all right? What is going on? Believe me, I... I just can't remember my name, who... who I am, n n nothing Don't worry, dear. It is not safe for you to stay here all by yourself. Come with me into our kingdom, and we will help you. Come! So, the queen took the princess and went to her kingdom. Many months passed by. Princess Stella could remember nothing of her previous life. But her manners and demeanor had impressed everyone in the palace. Meanwhile, when Princess Ellen had returned that evening, she had been horrified to see the palace empty. Stella? Stella? Stella! Oh, so the ogre's curse has come true. Well, where is she gone? How, how will I find her? I will not give up. There has to be some clue about her. What is that? Horse hoof marks? Here? Maybe somebody took her away. So, Princess Ellen followed the hoof marks on the ground. And after a few days of travel, she reached the palace of the queen. The people in the palace could be dangerous. I cannot just walk in there and start asking for my sister. I must hide. She found a cave near a wood and began living there, going into the city and observing the palace and the kingdom, hoping to hear something or see something that would give her a clue about her sister. Meanwhile, the queen was eager to have her older son marry Princess Stella. I know mother wants us to get married, but please take your time and decide. I assure you, you shall not be forced if you do not wish to marry me. 
Princess Ellen's patience finally paid off. There was a lake in the wood on which beautiful lotuses grew. The queen loved those lotuses and would often go to the lake. One day, she took Princess Stella along with her. See this beautiful lake, dear. Oh, the beauty of this place. I am sure the calm and serenity of it will make you feel much better. Come. <gasps> oh, Stella, Ste... No, wait. Why do you look so lost and distressed, Stella? Are you in some kind of danger, dear? Don't you worry, I am here now. Your Highness, lunch is served. So, Stella is with the queen of this land. She is in the palace. The princess waited for nightfall and then stole into the palace to look for her sister. Who's there? Who's there? A long time passed as the princess climbed onto the balcony. There you are! What is going on? There's an intruder in the palace! Stella! 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 There you are! Ellen! You! You! Oh! Are you alright? What is going on? The princesses poured out their entire story to the queen and the princes. You have been really good, patient, and kind with me. Thank you. What else could a woman look for in a husband? I have always dreamed of having a life partner who I can respect. Someone like you, with your courage, your love for your sister. Will you marry me? The queen was delighted as the marriages were performed. The two couples lived in perfect happiness for the rest of their lives.